YouTubers and anti-nuke activists, Hatrick Penry here. This is my latest article. Seek and destroy. NRC spends millions to search for negative press. Negative press, just like this one article I've got sampled from e, &E News. Radioactive rain causes 130 schools in Korea to close. Yet rain in California had 10 times more radioactivity. And I'll read you my brief little piece here. I say the strategy is simple. The NRC wants to know who is writing or speaking out against nuclear power, and they want to know the moment an article or video is published. In a flash, the Cyber Situational Awareness Team springs into action to handle the situation. This is Big Brother at his best, clamping down on free speech and spreading disinformation through blogs and social networking sites such as Facebook. Once the negative media is located, and this appears to be nearly instantaneous, the NRC begins an all-out information war to counter the effects of that particular piece. In many cases, a simple phone call will do to have an article removed or edited. Remember, these folks have corporate connections everywhere. Writers have bosses, and bosses work for owners. When the corporate owner of your newspaper calls and demands that you remove an anti-nuclear article, you better believe the article gets pulled or edited 99.9% .9 of the time. Now I ask my fellow Americans, why is it that the nuclear power industry must act in this way? If nuclear power is clean and wholesome, as they insist it is, then why must the NRC spend millions in an effort to find and attack information that portrays them in a negative light? Shouldn't the NRC ask themselves, why is there so much media speaking out against nuclear power? And where are the countless activists speaking writing out against solar power? Do solar power companies spend millions searching the press for articles that speak poorly of solar power? Something to think about. All right, I'll click through these screen captures I have. These are from the For You documents. Come on here. There we go. Info Reliance Corporation. They're under contract by the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission. These are a screen capture from the actual contract from the Freedom of Information documents. And here I say, note the increase and the date. They're increasing the obligation by nearly $500,000 from $902,000 to $1.351 million. And the period of performance is from 1011 to 913, so about two years. But you can see at the 9th, 11 9, um, 2012, they're increasing the amount uh, greatly. That's the date this thing is signed on the 9 11 2012. So they're bumping the money up right now and adding a whole lot. The only thing that's changed since this has been Fukushima is my notation. Here's a screen capture of Info Reliance Cybersecurity. And also to note, they do disaster recovery, which this weaponized weather is big these days. Disaster recovery, a lot of money there. A lot of money there, and that's why they continue to use weaponized weather against this disaster capitalism. But to note, they do cyber, cyber threats, cyber searching, risk management, all that kind of stuff. So security, architecture, these are the guys that we are fairly confident are doing the searches of the media for the NRC. Info Reliance is one of the companies. Again, here's another screen capture from the NRC for you documents. Mar Incorporated, under contract by the USNC. And look at the amount, purposes modification, and they're, they're Ceiling, total obligations, period of performance. Look, my one clip didn't get in. What happened to it? There it is right there. Okay, we'll go back to that in just a second. I'm um, just showing here the uh, financial total obligations, 1.9 million. 1.9 million period of performance from 519-2008 to 731-2013. Granted, that's a number of years, but as you can see now, these numbers are beginning to increase. And on this one, you can especially see from fiscal year 2011 to fiscal year 2012, it more than doubles, okay? Notice the increase between fiscal year 11 and fiscal year 2012. After the Fukushima disaster, the amount spent more than doubles. Also, note total obligation over five years is over $1.9 million right there in five years. That's the total they're spending. Three, this is just one contract for one IT company. There's at least one other IT company under the direction of the NRC. So it's not just one. you got to add these two totals together. And now we're totaling up millions of dollars. Yes, it's over a number of years, but still, that's a lot of money to have to go out and tackle negative publicity, right? And if you're, if you're 
corporation and your industry and your business is legitimate and really is doing good deeds and not causing any problems, there'll be very few people speaking out against you, right? The only complaint with solar power right now is that they're suppressing patent technology that would allow for more than a 20% efficient solar cell. And that's a fact that there are 5,000 suppressed patents in the United States alone, over 5,000. Here's the MAR, a screen capture from their web page, Cybersecurity and Information Assurance. That's what they do. That's why we're fairly confident. These are the guys who are searching media, sending the report to the NRC and saying, hey, here's who's writing about you out there. And then the Cyber Situational Awareness team goes in and, and tackles a job and, and does their countermeasures and their disinformation. Okay, I thought I would note too, for those who are into symbolism, here's your pentagram, five-pointed star, and you also have the Illuminati eye, which is shown on the Mar Incorporated. And again, I say, if you look at a lot of these corporations and businesses tied into the making money off the war on terror, the war on drugs, the any of these uh, particular things, they, there's a lot of Illuminati symbolism, quite a bit, quite a bit. Okay, now we're into the NRC Freedom of Information. These are screen captures, and this is just showing a series of of emails where they're talking back and forth and, and the initial email says hey we're supposed to get all these articles they're supposed to search the media and send us information of what they found who's writing about nuclear power and we're not getting that we're, we're missing some coverage what's going on well here's a copy of some of the articles that they're, they're they're searching for and retrieving or this may be the ones please let us know can we look into why this is happening it's not being picked up coverage particular coverage and I think that was showing you, man, come on. I don't like this system here at all. And back to that page. Sorry about that. Here we go. Okay. That shows you some of the articles they're searching for. Can you shed some light on why these stories are not showing up in our news clips package? Okay, that last little section, that was a group of what they they found was not being delivered to them. They're saying, hey, you're sending us some stuff, but not everything. Some some items are slipping by. Some articles are slipping by. What's the problem here? We're paying you a lot of money, you know? Okay, this one says, hi, Beth. I've looked into the links you sent. The first one is a conservative blog that we didn't know NRC was interested in. Let us know if you'd like to keep an eye on it in the future. And this is undoubtedly someone from one of those from Juliana Hoskinson. News stories left out in regards to news stories left out. We do not have the other stories. I apologize. Our team has been dealing with a much larger volume of news. Yes, you can imagine that. Since the nuclear multiple meltdowns and since we've been getting radiated over here, yeah, but there has been a lot more articles about the nuclear power being a total, total farce. Okay, McIntyre David is sending to Brenner Elliott and a bunch of other guys here and, uh, and women too. I've written to their web folks through the website asking them to take it off. And he's in, that's in response to, uh, let's see, from ET05 Hawk, some kind of committee that sends out to Brenner Elliott, Brunel Scott, and others, and says, remove attributions to the NRC from the plume map. This map was not provided through any official or known unofficial channels of the NRC. So they found at the Sovereign Independent, an online website, a plume map with an NRC logo. And they're saying, hey, we didn't let that go out. That's not through any of our known channels. This is somehow leaked out. And he says, I've already written their folks through the website asking them to take it off. Okay, here's from Watkins Charles. He's a cybersecurity guy, cyber situational awareness team. David, thank you for the notification. In the future, as you just did, please send all erroneous or malicious external website notifications, etc., to, to him. And he says they'll, they're going to handle it from there. And that's just what they do. You'll see exactly how they handle it. Okay, this was a little clip that when I came back a month later, it was removed from the NRC for you document, but I'd already screen captured it. Why they would remove it, I don't know. It just says erroneous radiation plume model. This is from Watkins Charles to Simon Murphy at the Sovereign Independent. He's writing the guy at the Sovereign Independent. Simon, we appreciate you taking down that graphic as soon as you can. All media inquiries should be directed to the NRC Office of Public Affairs. And you ain't going to get anywhere with OPA, I can tell you that, because it's all damage control all day long that down there. Okay, here you are, Brenner Elliott to Watkins Charles and McIntyre David. Watkins Charles with the Cyber Situational Awareness Team. Works for OPA. We succeeded in having this bit of bogosity. New word, he says. It's not a new word. We were using that 20 years ago when we were drunk in the woods shooting the guns at the old cars. And bogosity is a common word. It's not a new word, dude. You didn't invent it. We invented it years ago. Bogosity, new word, removed from several websites in the early days of the crisis when we spotted it. Got word out via social media, blogged about it, and otherwise knocked it down. We're always happy to keep you guys in the loop. 
Okay, so you see right there, in the early days of crisis, we spotted it. Okay, they, they locate the article. Article has been located. We got word out via social media. We're on Facebook talking about how that article's bunk and, and bogosity, a new word he thinks. And we blogged about it and otherwise knocked it down. See what they're doing? They're knocking us down. They're knocking us down. And it doesn't mean if your article is accurate or not. I don't think that really matters into the situation. That plume map, the only reason they can move it down is because it wasn't officially released. It doesn't mean it wasn't accurate. Okay, and I'm back to my cover there. That's possible some of the articles they don't want you to see. I wonder what they... And, and again, any news, not such a high volume of traffic like New York Times or some of these others but now the sovereign independent apparently that was very sensitive that plume map with the NRC logo and that was not gonna work so I've shown you here the documentation I've shown you the financial figures how much they're spending over a particular time period I've shown you the abrupt increase to those payouts to these contractors after the Fukushima incident and um, kind of basically summed it up with a series of emails where you can see the actual reality of them talking about uh, handling, removing, tackling, taking down, whatever you want to call it, a particular article that had a leaked plume map. They didn't want those plume maps being leaked out because, again, the whole premise of my plume gate and, and these FOIA documents is it's a cover-up to hide the radiation in the plume, the initial plume, and they're still hiding the radiation, right? But the initial plume and fallout was my biggest contention. That's when people should have been warned. I mean, right here, clearly in Korea, they're telling kids to stay out of the rain and they close schools. Yet in California, it's 10 times more radioactivity in the rainwater, and no one said anything at all, right? So uh, that pretty much sums it up. That's your lesson for today. Patrick Penry, over and out.